Yo! Welcome to GameSide Chat. I'm one of your hosts, Austin Huff. Along with me, the salt to my pepper, Mikey Boy Huff. How are you doing today, Michael? I'm good, man. It's good to be here. Good to have you. You know, yeah. Ready for the good show Which, tonight? So, I'm the salt. Yeah, you're a little salty I'm, I'm sometimes. I'm the salty one. Yeah. If anybody knows me, this is true. I, um, can, I can be a little salty. And, you know, I'll gladly take the pepper. You know? The Peppa. Peppa Pig. The Peppa. Peppa. Oh, man. No. The Peppa Pig. Don't even. No. <laughs> you heard enough already? It's just it's the Peppa Pig, man. It's so funny. Hey, um, we all need some Peppa in our lives. That's what we're here. Today we're talking about Peppa the Pig. Yeah. Welcome to Peppa the Pig Podcast. Dude. We Triple P. Do, <laughs> we could like rank it and everybody. That would be funny. That would be funny. <laughs> all Papa Pig, Peppa Pig. I don't know the rest of the names, but. <laughs> man, I've. Some st- I was real excited with some of the PlayStation stuff that came out today. Yeah, man, we got some uh, just out of the blue, which is the way you know it's the best way. The best news, you know, the hot scoop. So, let's but get, first, but first, some little housekeeping, you know, you know, associated with PlayStation, possibly. You know, we're exactly one month away from getting our our grubby hands on those next gen consoles. How's oh, it make you feel? That doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. This is always, it's felt like a fantasy, like, oh man, this new crazy console that's going to have the SSD, fast load times, and all this crazy stuff, and yeah, it's a month from now. It doesn't, like, because of the way that this year's been with the releases, it it's, doesn't feel like it's even happening. No. You this know is, what I mean? This is a dream. Pinch me. But what's crazy is that, like, there's this, just the same, like, different things are happening to each companies doing different things like yeah people already have the xbox one x series i the series x yeah like it's already a thing people have it they're reviewing it and all that stuff and nobody has a playstation it's very interesting nobody why. but playstation knows that they're coming off of a high horse from the ps4 yeah. they're a little gaudy they are you know so i just want to say a quick shout out to all the people watching out there thank you so much for supporting us in this new up and coming podcast it's a uh, it's really great to be with you guys on this journey. Episode 10. Episode 10. Episode 10, yes. countdown to next gen. Mm-hmm. This is it. This is it. Oh, the one. The one, yeah. man. Yeah. What What do you... Not man, really, but... I know I've asked you this before. Yeah. What is, like, the first thing you're going to do when you get your console? Ooh, maybe just, like, unbox it. Okay, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> unbox it. Like, <laughs> you turn it on. Turn it on. First thing you do. Mm, I, I know what I'm game. doing. I, have I know to, I know what I'm doing. I have to play a certain game, but I don't know what game I would play yet. It's an easy answer. Astro's Playroom, man. Oh yeah, you got to jump in. It's a it's a packing game. I guess. And yeah. it, it it it's like a it's almost like a tech demo. You know, it's going to show you mm. how the controller works, what it's capable of. Kind of yeah. like One Two Switch. Like One Two Switch should have been a packing game, but it wasn't. It'd be the Wii Sports of uh, exactly. Switch. Definitely, I think more consoles should implement that idea. Because it's a good, you know, test out the hardware. You have it sitting there. Maybe you don't have enough money what to if get you, a game. What if you can't have a game, you know? That's true. I, like I was saying, I would love to buy the camera and the headphones and all that stuff and extra controllers. But, man. We'll get into more than that later for today's uh, topic of the show. But also just wanted to say thank you. Make sure to follow on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and our Instagram account at Gameside Chat. So, some, uh, let's uh, break the ice here, Michael. All right. It's cracking. The ice is finally, after 10 episodes, there's some cracks in the ice. There's some cracks in the ice, you know, and <laughs> broken. Hit it with me. Hit me with it. You know who's playing Monday Night Football this week? Oh, no. Do you know what's going on, boy? Oh, no. Tyrion doesn't know. Tyrion doesn't know. My little that Lannister friend. The Cowboys are about to get rocked. By the Arizona okay. Cardinals. You know what? The disrespect that you were gonna like <laughs> talk crap. One, not only in my own house. Two, <laughs> you're gonna say that in my two, house. Two, while we're down, Dak down is Dak. down. Yeah. You know, man, what a that was just a gruesome. I was sick That's to my true. stomach. I was watching that game. Honestly, yes. That it's, was like it's always really bad to see those kind of injuries. So, you would know if you don't know. On the Cowboys were playing. The Giants this weekend, and Dak went down. He's playing a hard game because the defense is atrocious. Yeah. Dak's slinging it out there. He's having 
Oh yeah, five hundred yards a game, mm-hmm. multiple touchdowns, and yeah, he goes to make a play, and his his ankle just snapped. It's really in bad half. because on live TV, <laughs> this was a a year, a proving year for Dak because he wanted to get paid, you know, big contract, and like he, he was on, you know, he was on route to like get a Dude, good. Could you imagine the contract? And like, I just hope, and this is not the way the world works, but mm. I hope that he gets just a monster contract that he wants for going through that. He. I mean, after a big injury like but that, but business too, is business, you it's know. It's true. They need to look out for themselves. Plus, they paid Elliot a lot that one. That but contract. you know, that's you the know. that's the topic. Who's 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 the mean person here? Yeah, we might have a guest. We might have a guest on the show. <laughs> but anyways, so I think the Cowboys are still going to win with Andy Dalton. You think so? He was a starter. At one I point. do think so. Yeah. So what do you think? What's the score going to be then? I'm like, thinking, legit, Andy Dalton's a good quarterback. No, no, he was a starter for the Bengals for a long time. So, I don't think it's going to be close, like, 21-18 or something like that, you know? 21-18 Cardinals? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to make a bet on air. We have to do this. Oh, yeah, you think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, cool. Next episode, loser. Like, if the Cardinals win, I'll go and I'll buy a Cardinal jersey. Whoa, snap. And I'll wear it. This is our Super Bowl. Yeah. We're no longer really going deep into the playoffs. Nah, nah. Maybe. I mean, but not how it would have been. You know, like, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm a true fan, so I'm always like, there's hope. Mm-hmm. But yeah, dude, I'll go buy a jersey, or you lend me one, and I'll wear it on the show. All right. I'll do the same thing. And vice thing. versa. Yeah, we'll do that. Deal. We could talk about this all day, but yeah, Which man. one you want? You want the Christian Kirk one? You want the Kyler Murray one? I don't even need... I'm not even going to worry you about that. You want the Josh Rosen one? <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not worried about it. I'll give it. you that. No. I'm not even going to need to do it, so I'm not worried about it. Say what. Say what you want. So my my question for you will be. Uh, I'm gonna what, go out and buy an Andy Dalton jersey right now. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, okay. What's your game day snack? Game day snack. Yeah. Pizza. Dude. Pizza. Pizza, man. Pizza, Pizza and beer. That's good. Don't one. really enjoy beer a whole lot. <laughs> but you said it. Pizza and alcohol. Pizza and alcohol. I'd say some wings are good. Nothing Wing. like a good buzz and some pizza and wings and some football. That's true. You know? Yeah. Are you so you're gonna watch the game with us on Monday? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll be yeah, I'll get off work and head over. Brandon's coming, I think. No. Oh god, he has his Hopkins jersey, so Yeah, yeah. well. Yeah. Our defense is pretty atrocious, so you're probably yeah. gonna light it up. Oh, bring it up. But you know, this injury you know yeah. who knows, man, anything can happen. We'll see. Yeah. So anything you wanna add? I want to. I want to break the ice. You want to break TV. the ice? Come on. Favorite t- TV show of all time. What do you Favorite like to watch on TV? TV show. Oh snap! Ah. Honorable mentions. You can do top three if you want. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I'd say Mandalorian's up there. No, How I really? Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Mandalorian Mother's... is in your top three. I shouldn't say that. Actually, it's Look, good. But I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I am not ecstatic about the Mandalorian. It was a good, and there was really good episodes. Yeah. But as a whole, the bad episodes brought it really down for me. Yeah. So I think it's just it's. I want more of it. I want more Star Wars. Yeah. Didn't blow didn't, didn't blow me away. Some sure. scenes did. I take back, man. All right, I have my number one show, and I've said it enough. It's How I Met Your Mother. I think that's a good show. It's relatable. Suit up. It's real. You know, like it's the, friends the, for it's the new era, hanging out and they're living life, and you you can relate. So. That's something I'll say. And The Office I lo- is great. I too. love that show, too, man. The, 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 like, just even, um, what is the, 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 peak, the couple that's married? What's their name? Marshall and Lily. Marshall and Lily, like, their story's really good. And you, like, get really sad when they, they split up. And, yeah. like, How I Met Your Mother is really good. You have to stick with it, though. I could see how if you watch one episode, you're like, this is kind of goofy. Yeah. Let's not watch it, but it's good. No, there's a lot of times where we're like, dude, that's you, and like, oh, no, that's you, and like, that's the, what I really like in the show is being relatable. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm going to say Jace is Robin. Jace is Robin? From the show. <laughs> right? I could see it. Jace is Robin, dude. I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Marshall. Yeah. And then I'm Mr. Mosby. You're Mosby. I'm Ted Mosby. Let's go. And Angelica's Lily. So, boom. Ooh, done. Did, did Jason and I get together then? <laughs> hey, huh. hey, if you're speaking that into I the mean, universe, that's on you, my friend. I mean, that's on Jace. Jace, no. you know, he's always trying to, like, you know, get romantic with me. I'm like, oh, Jace, like, Jace, back oh, up, bro. He is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it is All what right. it is. It is. 2020 what it is. and 20 bucks is 20 bucks, my friend. Yeah. All right. So, today's topics. Hey, friend. we're talking about video games, right? That's why we're here. That's why, that's oh. why we're here. 
in case you forgot. So today's topics. PlayStation shows off the UI. Miles Morales shows off some new clips. Spider Cat. And are you ready for next gen? Are you truly ready? No, I don't feel like it's happening. So I feel like that's great. We will have to talk about that like, after. Those I'm kind of topics. floating through life as like, um, and I'm just like, it's, it's coming and I'm not like, you know when a new Star Wars movie comes out you just, and you count the days, yeah. you're like 20 days, 19 days, and you're just like anticipating it. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm so busy that I'm okay. Like I'm. Exactly. I think that's another question I had, to, I was going to ask you is like, do you need next gen right now? Like, like if they, like if. All of a sudden, they were like, you know what? We have to push it back. And I'd be like, all right. Like, you know, I don't need it right now. Like, True. Yeah. It's like. No, I, I feel like it just depends. Everybody's in a different spot in their life. And uh, I think. I do really want it. But yeah. I, I don't have to have it like in, like right now. Like, But think, you go ahead. I'm no, no, no. I think it was like new hardware like excites us. Like, you know, you got a new 4K TV. You want to be able to get the hardware that backs it up, right? Oh, yeah. That's why I got it. Yeah. So this like, whole room is why I got it. You know, we didn't get PlayStation Pros, but sure. we want some good-looking games. Can I transition into this with that? Because, so, yeah, let's get into PlayStation showing off their user interface today. Right, and the reason why I bring that up is because, yes, we've seen gameplay. I mean, you, we, Game Informer has the exclusive coverage of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. They're throwing up videos on YouTube left and right, 4K videos. They're amazing. We watch them in here, and they're blowing us away. And it's streaming. It's not even – that's not, you know, actually – it's going to look better than that. Oh, yeah. So it looks amazing. Game Infor Go check out Game Informer on YouTube and uh, watch the videos, you know. They were great. What like, they released today – We were sitting here, like, screaming, like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. We were excited. Dude, like, And so away. speaking of excited, I got really excited about the PS5 because – what I was getting to is, yes, we've seen games, and they look really good. Mm -hmm. Anybody who says next-gen doesn't look as good, Liars. get a 4K TV and watch this stuff on a 4K TV because it's insane. What really got me excited, it is the user interface to me. Like yeah. I know the it's been mixed, received mixed, right? There's some, the People are like, uh, it's okay. I feel like that's the wrong the reason why I feel like that's wrong is because we play PlayStation yep. online with our friends. You boot up the PlayStation, takes forever to turn on, even when it's in rest mode. You go in, you load the game. The game takes a good minute, you know, minute and a half to like, apex. Takes forever to boot up. Yeah. And then once you're in the level, once you're in the game, you have to hit the PlayStation button, go to parties, find the party, join the party, and it takes forever. It's a good couple minute thing. Yeah. It's, and, yeah, and then it's set up time. Yeah. you got to find your headset, and then you can talk. And then you go back to the game, and then now you're playing. That's a lot of steps. And when they showed this video, mm -hmm. and they were like, they showed how fast things worked. I was like, this is this is the time. I'm excited for this. No, for real. It blew me away. And it's so accessible. Like, you're able to see if someone's in a game, you know, easily, or you can join on them really yeah. easily. Yeah. Like, that was insane, being able to see all that stuff. Yeah, and we'll break it down. That way you, I can get your feedback on yeah. what you think about some of this stuff. So they opened it up. The first thing they show, you think it would be the home screen. It wasn't. No, it was the... Control center. The control center. Yeah. They opened it up, and it was obviously probably in a rest mode or something. Or no, it probably doesn't even need that anymore with the SSD. So yeah. it boots up, and he's like, this is the command center. And what's cool about it is is that the first thing you see is objectives and trophies, which gamers love their trophies. That's true. Makes trophies, them feel accomplished. You yeah, know? so trophies normally you have to go to a menu, see what the trophies are, and then start knocking out those things. Mm -hmm. Well, these is like, hey, on the level that you're on, these are the trophies you can get. Mm -hmm. And this is your progress on it, and it's right there. And you could even toggle it and have it on your screen as you're trying to get those trophies, like right there. Yeah. And then they'll make other little objectives. The developer will, like, hey, you should do this. You should do that. And this is just so crazy because you couldn't see your trophies at all. Bef like, well, you have to get out of the game. Yeah, it sucks. Go it, to your trophy list. It's really slow, you know. And or you just kind of got it up on the That's surprise. what next-gen is, that snappiness. It's, it's really great. So 
Do you you know what really blew me away that connects to all this in the command center was the tips, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're playing a game. Say you're stuck on a puzzle, you're playing Uncharted. Mm -hmm. Hit up the command center, and it's like, ooh, there's the objective that I need to, that I'm trying to accomplish in the game right there. Yeah. But how do I do it? With the click of a button, bro. Click, click, click. It tells you, do this, do this, do this. Oh, you don't know how to do that? You know how, like, I, I'll, I'm not ashamed. I will look up online videos on how to do puzzles sometimes if I'm just not feeling it. A video will pop up and show you how to solve the puzzle on the screen without you even have to look at your phone. Mm-hmm. It's there and playing. And that is so, like, I go back to accessibility. Like, you pull out your you pull out your phone. If you want to, if you get stuck on a level, you're like, all right, oh, let, me, let me just look it up how to do it. Yeah. No, that is crazy. You just snapshot. You snap the clip over on there on the left. You do it literally the same. It time literally that you're at. will. The video will play on the screen while you're playing. Like you can, you can. They call it screen sharing. Yeah. Throws it on there like I. Ah, that is so cool. And I bet IGN was was. They were thinking. You know they're gonna. There goes a lot of our videos. Their walkthroughs. And They'll walkthroughs, still make them. Of course. They'll make them. But that's gonna lose a lot of content for them. It will. For Unless sure. they. They should be like. They should say, hey, you know, let us. Let's work, to work together. Yeah. yeah like it IGN's could, tips. It could make some partnerships for sure. Come on. Come on, Pear Schneider. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then what about the screen share thing? Do you remember that? I wrote so, that down. So we've tried to do screen share on the PS4. Right. And, and it takes forever. It, forever. It does not work. I swear it loads for 10 minutes sometimes. It does. And then it was a great idea because I want to see my friends play. So what is it then? What do you mean screen share? Screen share, say you're playing a game and you're like, dude, this scene is so cool. You need to look at it. I'm like, show me. Like, okay, put yeah. it on PlayStation. Yeah. I can watch you play, you know, we're going to say Uncharted again. You Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Boom. Okay. You show me the scene. I'm watching it with you. Like, basically, it's almost like a theater yeah. for me. Yeah. But then there was modes in the PlayStation 4 where I could take the controller over on yeah. my side. And you've done that. Yeah. I think we did that for, like, a Disney game yeah it was it, it, I, it was okay yeah so this it is just... instantly like hey what was instant because this is a more complicated type deal yes but it's in the command center so like the, the the game is still in the background you pull up the command center go to your friends list friend boom 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 screen share it connects it's going to depend on your internet connection of course yes but you, if you have good internet connection you're both there and what i thought was crazy about it and i don't know if people are talking about this it just i listened to kfgd and they were just oh yeah the 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 ui i'm sure they'll go down it like deeper dive on ps i love you but you can look you can see the person you're playing with their screen like on discord where you're watching what they're doing on your screen while you're playing your game that is a new thing on playstation it's a cool way of using like, a dual it's not a dual monitor setup but it's a dual screen. what is that going to do for games like apex like uh what is the really popular one that I cannot think of right you now? Think of like a shooters. Yes. Call of Duty. Yes. And another shooter. Yes. That a lot of our friends play. It's a lot like Andrew, Keanu, Bryce. Oh, Destiny. Play. Nope. One more. Oh, Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Siege. Six. Yeah. Siege, because that's a very tactical, and you could see where your other teammate is. That is is like are they going to allow that? A developer's going to allow like that is just cool. I know that you can do that on Discord on a PC just fine. But... Yeah. I think they'll have to restrict that because it's changing they're, games, they're not going to sit there and they're not going to allow that, you know? This is changing gamers, change, changing games for gamers that they don't know that you can do that on PC. Then everybody knows that. Maybe that, the, that maybe, is legit. Maybe they'll know, like, if you're in a lobby together and they'll be like, yeah. hey, you're in the same lobby. Don't do that. I don't know. Maybe. I did know, I did see that if the developer thinks that the content is spoilery, they will mute it. Yeah. You're good. And then, after screen share, they went to voice chat. Yes. Which, it was fast. I clapped. <laughs> you did. <laughs> because, like I said, that's such painful. Oh, you have... Here's what happens. Mm. Break it down for you. You, sometimes, when you're playing games online, these, these, these are just quality of life improvements. This is just how picky gamers can be. Mm. Pick, so, I'm playing a game, a match in Apex, without you guys, because you're not online yet. Yeah. So I'm doing a match, and you guys are all getting on. In the middle of my game, I get an invitation. Great. Well, if I if I I can hit the PlayStation Plus button, 
right away and kind of get there quickly. But if I don't and I miss that three second window, I have to go to the home screen, to notifications, to my invitation, to hit join, and then hit join again. Oh, yeah. And then so I have to go easy. get my mic because <laughs> I was I was playing by myself. Yep. This one, it's you got an invitation, hit X, and you're joined. Mind blown. <laughs> And they're like, oh, and the controller has a microphone in it. Why would we do that? Oh, because you can say, hey, guys, how's it going? Yeah. I don't have my mic yet. You can hear me right now. So either I can play without it or I'm just, hey, I'm going to go grab it real quick. I'm in the middle of a match. So I don't have to lose my other game that I'm playing while I'm waiting for you guys, you know? Yeah. And with that microphone option, too, they added something I'm really happy for, finally, that they're going to have, um, was it speech to text? Voice texting. Voice texting. That was cool. Because... I can talk some crap, and it takes me so long. Yeah, to like type on it Rocket up. League, where you're like, you, because it was funny because they said, "Hey, guess what? With the Dual Sense, it's gonna be super cool to type." And I'm like, "That's lame. They're gonna do the whole thing where you swipe on it." Oh. And I'm like, "I already do that. That's lame. Why would you even think to bring that up?" And they're like, "Yeah, you use the microphone and you just talk into it." We know that that technology works good. Mm -hmm. It's funny because remember they used to have voice chat messages you just send like a recording of yourself saying the chat like a message in the like playstation did i remember xbox used to have that back in the day back when i was that's on weird. the 360 yeah it was hey easy. how's it going bro good match i mean yeah. that's no nah, you they'd say way worse like yo your mom yo your mama <laughs> hit your mama's baloney last night <laughs> um and then um the create button was cool they're just making it really fast and simple they said that the pictures the, and videos will be able to post in 5K. Did he mean to say 5K? He said it. Maybe. What does that even... I don't know. I it's know 4K, 8K, but I don't know. Pixels. 5K. I don't know. Wherever they can fit. It's going to look pictures. good. It will. Oh, and that, that now they're you can save your voice chat. So for creators, this is really easy now. We can literally just record our gameplay, record our voice chat. Mm -hmm. You can The PlayStation camera is for sale. It's HD, you yeah. know? post your videos like instantly like it makes it so much easier yeah putting on they showed twitter but there has to be more these are the things that i was excited about like, yeah you know what i mean exactly the, i've i am more excited and it seems that people don't share this opinion with me let me know if you share this opinion this is the one of the most exciting days for me that i've that i've seen on the ps5 just no, having definitely. that news definitely no it was because we're so used to this ps4 ui that hasn't been changed, what, in seven years or five years Longer. Ago. And Longer, man. It's been a it, while. Sometimes the best thing is just take the whole idea, throw it out, get in something new. It's you know? just the technology wasn't there before, you know, and that's the thing. Even with games now, it's not that games couldn't be this good before. No. It's just the technology is there. And I think PlayStation is really good at taking what they've done before and building upon it and learning. And yeah. that's how you should be doing stuff when you come up with new ideas. And so shout out to Xbox because uh, we also watched theirs today. Yes. And so what they're doing with their lineup is they're saying, okay, everything is going to be very familiar to you. You're not going to be looking for things where they're not supposed to be. It's pretty much the same as the one, the, the one X, mm -hmm. which was an upgrade at that time, just really fast. They got the quick resume, you know, and, and I think the reviews have been really good on the series X. And I know we talked about it last week, but I think we, the Xbox Series X is a sexy box compared to what the PlayStation it, is. It is. I pr I prefer the look of the box over. I call it a uh, an air purifier for the PS Five. Yeah, it looks it like looks those. intense. It looks aggressive, which is okay. I'm okay with aggressive. Yeah, but oh, they yeah. I saw pictures of like they just put the the Xbox like on a bookshelf next to and it just looks elegant. You know, it's clean. You put that PlayStation on a bookshelf. You're like, what is that thing? Why is your yeah. Wi-Fi router on a bookshelf? It's curvy. And it's so that, I'm still wondering if it's going to fit under my TV, but that control, I'm excited for the controller. Say yeah. it again. That's why, that's why I first thing I'm going to an Astro's playroom, dude. Oh yes, dude, the controller, man. I can't get over it. I am so ready for all the haptic feedback. What is it? What is it called when they give you like, they lock the triggers? Um, they st like, pretension on the something yeah where yeah. you can it, it can get really hard and it can jam on you as well exactly and that's so sick because cool could you imagine like yeah. a zombie game where you're like somebody you're like running from somebody mm -hmm. and then you go to shoot it and you're like and then it locks yeah you'll be screaming at the tv like yeah. what's going on and you're it like, can be a design choice you're like my my control is broken <gasps> no 
No, that's cool. I never, you know, it can add to the it's, experience. It's creative, and I love that PlayStation does that kind of stuff. I like the microphones in, like, yes. w- when Tomb Raider did it. I'll never forget. Tomb Raider, the second one that just came out. Mm-hmm. I was playing in my bedroom with my wife next to me for a long time, and I had my headphones in. And in that game, you don't have a gun for a long time. Yeah. You have a bow. And I didn't know it was even making noises. Well, I go and I get a gun for the first time in that. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I had my speaker turned all the way up. And I went to shoot a pistol in that game. And it was like, whap! Scared the crap out of my wife, dude. Like, <laughs> I think it's cool. It's kind of annoying. Most people turn it down. Yeah. But. No, that's cool, man. Have you, seen, have you seen how they're doing the, the dots for what player you are? The dots? Yeah, so they're going to have, it'll be like one two, two what? dots three dots or four dots oh on the touchpad you are, so okay. under the touchpad yeah that's sick that's Had really cool led lights everywhere i'm next, a, next I'm gen it. man sorry Tyrion. this is why i'm ready so shall we get into a little bit of miles morales business here yeah man what was uh what were you most impressed by by what you saw today for ui wise or anything? uh the miles thing so miles morales just seeing the game man we haven't we saw some gameplay I'm most excited to see this. I want to explore the city again. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's it looks like it's the same exact map as Spider-Man One. Of like, course, you can't really. I guess you. I didn't can. know if they were gonna focus on like. I don't know, no, I think they just spot. focused on a more richer world because there's definitely more cars and more people and yeah. like. It looks different, and you know it's cities a, change. It's a different season too, which is something we'll point out. It's winter time. It's snowing. Yeah. You know, all the trees are white, stuff like that. But. Are you surprised that we that we see Peter in these no, trailers? No, you're not surprised. Not at all, because I knew. Because I told you before, I was like, I feel like Peter's gonna have an Iron Man kind of role for Miles, where he's like, I'm teaching. I liked the it when I saw. It. I liked it, and, and yeah. what was interesting about it mm-hmm. is that you have Miles and you have Peter, and we just played. We love Peter Parker. Yeah. And, you know, I felt like they really, even though Spider-Man, they're both Spider-Man. Even though Peter was in these scenes, I felt like Miles was the one that was really stealing the show in these scenes. Even though it's seen, I should say. Yeah. And that's a that's an impressive thing to do because Miles is becoming a, a character yeah. himself. I think that goes into part of that Miles is kind of having more fun with this and Peter's like, like hey, taking it like, real serious. You know, like, you need to be like watching. You don't out know. He's a. Uh, he's like so. It's funny. It's like when you start a new job, and you're the new guy, and you're all excited, and you grow up on this veteran that's been working this job for thirty years, and he's just not excited about it anymore. <laughs> you know, he's just he, he just says like, you shouldn't even do this. Like, don't, don't pick another career. You know what I mean? And he's not that negative. But you know yeah. what I mean? Like. Yeah. He's like, we need to take this seriously because you don't know what you're about to go through. Is what I'm trying to say, oh, yeah. you know, and you're and, too ambitious, and you, or just you know, you know he he knows that there's a lot of pain and hardship coming towards him. Like, take this serious, serious miles because bad stuff always happens to Spider Man. That That's true. what he like. Spider Man overcomes things. That's what he is. That's who he. Yeah, exactly. That's who he is. So, in this trailer, we got to see Miles and Peter come together, and you know. Like I said, he's showing him the ropes, and then there's a helicopter carrying a giant crate. Speaking of ropes, oh, the cables are breaking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> lame. <laughs> so one of the cables break. Miles sees that, and he's like, "Oh, don't worry, Peter. I'll go fix it real mm. quick." And then he's like, "Wait, Miles, don't like, don't do that." And he goes and tries to it fix made it, it off balance when he went on there. Yeah. Exactly, and there's something in that crate, and they didn't know who they were talking about. That They're like, who's know. in there? Yeah, and Peter's like. Something big. He knew it was in there. Oh yeah. And I, I just, I liked when we watched it, and Rhino came out, and you were like, gave a little cheer. You're like, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So you kind of just see that like, Miles is new to this business. He doesn't really know what he's doing. And his, his, his combat looks wicked. It is sick. There was a couple times where we were like, whoa. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> we we're like, whoa, like that was a crazy move. He's got the Venom punch. He's got the, the Venom strike. The Venom strike. And then the invisibility. Yeah. That's crazy. They're going to have some good stealth gameplay. For real. In this game. Was it? They had, like, basically, like, a Venom strike, like, burst. Explode. It was like nuts. Explosion. He, like, he took out, 
like 10 dudes like easily yeah and it it looks so fun dude like i'm ready to get back in that universe you know what we forgot to watch the gameplay of is that um what's that disruption game the one where you like racing and it's kind of like twisted metal but it's not it was uh, the one where they were they, in the in this they took a p- picture of it remember that's where they were showing the creation oh what is that was your game you knew the name of it I didn't yeah know it no and you should check out some gameplay because i think that'd be a fun party game anyways that'd be cool so miles and pierre are fighting and you know you just it's good to get back in you see those combos and you forget how good it was juggling almost. people the thugs the, and all that the, stuff the camera angles that that game uses is intense For have real. you noticed yeah so like when you're doing a finisher or something it swings the camera around so that it's facing you so that you can see what the character is doing. Mm-hmm. That's excellent. It really is. Bravo. Uh, something important that we need to talk about for Miles Morales. Spider-Cat, man. Spider-Man. His name's Spider-Man. Spider-Cat. 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 Does whatever a spider-cat can. Meow, meow, so where's Spider-Pig is all I'm asking. Hey, dude. Here's what I really thought that Miles Morales should do, the game, is that they should have, they should maybe make a second Miles Morales game. Into the Spider Verse, and what? he goes maybe like, like into the Spider Verse Spider Man game, but you know Miles is the same main character. Okay, you know. Yes, okay. I think that'd like, be sick. Like carry that story with him and not Peter. Yeah, I, that's how you yeah. could differentiate the two. I feel like we might get like some crazy ending to Spider Man Two. Like, what if Peter dies? Like in <sighs> they did it in Spider Verse, and it was oh. effective. We didn't even know that Spider Man. Think about it. We get a whole nother game, maybe two, mm-hmm. and he dies. That because that's what propelled Spider Verse to me. When mm-hmm. I'm talking about Spider Man again, we had Spider Man episode a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Spider Verse, man. When Peter died and they had that funeral, yeah, Stan Lee there, like that was a very moving scene. And I was, I was like, wow, I can't believe they had done this. I didn't think they would do that. Mm-hmm. No, it was definitely crazy. I don't know. You gotta be crazy sometimes, I guess. Yeah. And last thing for this is the awesome suits to come. We saw that pre order uh, track suit. And yeah. It looks good, boy. It yeah, looks it does. good. I can't wait for the Spider Verse suit. I'm saying. True that. All right, Michael. The big, big topic finisher for the end is Are you ready for next gen? That's are my, we, are, you are we ready? Me? You know, I'll get more into questions. You know, we already talked about if we're ready. But a couple of sub questions as we are approaching one more month to this. Is it less than a month or more than a month? It's less, less than month. a month. Wow. It is because what? It's the 14th today? Yeah. So, one of my big questions I want to ask you is what's your ideal gaming setup? What, what does that mean? So, you get home from work one day and you're like, I want to go play some games. Just, I'm alone and I'm yeah. like, I'm going to zone out. Yep. Say, so, you know, you're going to go play a game. What, how you want to tell me like you want me to tell you what I would do like what game yeah. I would play not game but like your equipment you're using you know you grab your controller I have to always have my headset on see I'm not I don't I only wear my headset if I'm trying to be quiet okay you know me I got the surround sound mm-hmm. I'm gonna play it there 3d audio that's gonna be legit I'm ready for it yeah super excited for the 3d audio so yeah my, my ideal this is not what you asked me. I'm going to go to the fridge. I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to get some chips or something to eat. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a, preferably a Red Bull or some uh, alcohol, maybe some potato juice. Potato juice, if okay. You, you know? Weirdo. Yeah, some potato juice in this vod, in this uh, in this Red Bull. Um, thanks for bringing this, by the way. No problem. Watermelon Red Bull. Where did you find it? Circle K, bro. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've looked there. Maybe they're back in stock. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got to have a little drink. I love having a drink of some kind, whether it's just soda or whatever. And something to munch on. And, yeah, surround sound, LED lights, mm-hmm. and just vibing and just get into it. Now, if I'm obviously, if I'm playing online with you guys, mm-hmm. same thing. I'll have a snack, some candy or whatever, but yeah. I'll have my headphones on. And then you got your couch. You're just sitting on the but couch. But you're, you definitely have your – what kind of headset do you have? Um, so I currently have a HyperX Clouds. Is it uh, wireless or – No, I have. I prefer cord. wired. Prefer? Because price? Pre- prefer. It is cheaper, Yes. But so, I like the straight connection because I, you know, too much Bluetooth devices for me kind of get annoying. But so, well, I have one big question that's not answered. And maybe if we went on the PlayStation blog, it would be. I wonder. I hated how I bought the the white 
gold yes. headphones for PlayStation, mm-hmm. and it needs a dongle to be plugged into the USB for my PlayStation 4. Yep. I lost the dongle. Yep. You can't connect Bluetooth headphones to the PlayStation unless you have that dongle. They need to have it to where you can connect any Bluetooth headphones to these consoles. I don't know if Xbox does that. Or I don't know. I don't know if this is going to do that, but I want that. Because then you could use my AirPods or whatever. I would totally do that. No, yeah. And I, I think we've talked about this before, and I'm like, they're going to want beats, you to buy their product. Those the thing. Beats. They're gonna I thought I heard you. something about it. I'll, I'm gonna look, I'll look it up. And it's a way for them right to be now. like, look, it's only a, a compatible with our wireless headset. Yeah. So... But no, we. What? So your so your headphones. I got my headphones. On your mo- you play on a monitor. Is play, your monitor four K? I just switched to a monitor, because I used to have it on my TV, and I get pull up my gaming chair and just. So you're in your there. gaming chair. I have to be in my gaming chair when I. Get and you gaming. play on your monitor. And my monitor now. Is it four K? It's a ten eighty now. So I'm experience next gen here at my house. Yeah, I know. I like. I, really I do have a gaming it. chair. I do like laying down on the couch and chilling. You know, I had I don't play a lot of scary games, but I might I need to branch out a little bit. We should play like Until Dawn. That's a Is that a scary game? It sounds scary. It is scary. It's the one where you choose it's a butterfly effect game. Oh really? Where you choose something, you get you know, this side or that side and it changes the game. Oh that. and there's so many But it's already out? It's just like Detroit. Yeah. Okay. But not as a you know, Detroit was kinda crazy with how many options you could choose. I think me and Joel are going to play that because it's going to be on PS uh, Collection. Yes, it will. So I think I'm going to play it. Nice. It has the guy from Grey's Anatomy in it. The guy's pretty cool. Which one? The black guy. Good looking dude. Uh, like handsome dude. Oh, how handsome. You know what I'm talking about? He's a good looking dude. I have to relook at it again. Yeah. Anyways, this has been if you don't watch Grey's, then you don't want then. Yeah. If you watched Grey's at all and you've seen the game, you'd know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's okay. It's kind of a girl's show. All right. No judgment here. I was gonna. I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna ask you a question before we close out. Unless oh, you have I, any I more have topics. More, I have more questions. Yeah. You go. Go ahead. You go first. Okay. okay. So, what equipment will you carry over? I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with that. I just wanted to say, because like, I am I getting you. a new headset? Is that what you're asking? Me? Are you gonna? Yeah. Are you I would like to. It's just it's a hundred bucks, so I might wait. That's true. Spending a lot of money on other things. That's true. Like so, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get my helmet. Oh man. Go ahead. Ask me He's a question. Getting it. So uh, I asked you the other day, I was like, man, like we should really wait on squadrons because, oh, that face. We should wait on squadrons because I want to play in PSVR and, yeah. you know, I can't truly appreciate it. Now he's now he's back. Michael had to go. I, I don't even know if you're going to be able to be heard on this with that. He's no good to me dead. Of course he will. Yeah? You, you think can so? hear me, can't you? Sure. Okay. Ask yeah. me a question. All right, so yeah, is you know we talked about this the other day. PSVR it's gonna be able to be worked with PS5, which yes. is a good thing because I was worried that they were gonna be like, oh, you know, you can only use PSVR two, you know. Yeah. So it's compatible, it's good. This guy. And are we gonna talk about other questions that like yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we had before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, so I think it's a you, good idea. Any, you remember any questions that I had for you or? You yes. Had? So I was very concerned about. So this was announced earlier. Um, I was very concerned about the save data. They didn't say anything about it. Yeah. So they were, because, uh, yeah, they're like, it's backwards compatible, but in past generations, say you had whatever, Mass Effect. Well, that's different because they always had transfers. That's a, that is like the one game not to choose in this example. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Fallout. Okay. Fallout, say you're okay. playing Fallout. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's just an example. Yeah. And you play it on your PS3, and now you want to play it on your PS4. Actually, yeah. we should use Xbox as an example. You're halfway through the game. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. You have to start over on the new console. Exactly. I, I, don't want to do I that. was worried about that too. Yeah, I'm like, that is lame, dude. Now, here's the thing. It is, I believe. No, okay. I'm gonna sit back on that. What I was about to say. I'm not gonna say that. Definitely, though, it is the developer's choice whether I think the save data transfers over. But yeah, so what you have to do is they're saying over Wi-Fi. So like the consoles have to be in the same house. Yeah. Which I'm sure there's a way to do it in cloud. With the goes, you know, you can go ahead and transfer your save 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 data. Yeah. And digital and physical, you know, if you have the physical version, the physical disc, you have to have the physical PS4. They're not going to give you a digital copy of a game just because you got the digital one. No. Nah. And say so. My thing was with Crash. I'm not done with it, and I want to be able to just start where I left off. Exactly. 
and that's going to be a thing. And that's great. It's going to be fine. Because that was something I was worried about, too. So, yeah. I was also worried about, um, so what, are the games going to look the same? What do you mean? Like, is it just going to be a PS4 game on the PS5? No, no. They up some of them. I know that. Yeah. It's called Game Boost. Game Boost. Wow. And so, and I think that also is a developer's choice, obviously, because that takes somebody to do. Mm. And so, what, it's Game Boost, just like it sounds. So, it's going to be faster. So, if it's, you know, before, if it's hitting, it's chugging at 30 frames per second, it's probably going to hit 60 frames easily yeah. on these boost modes. I don't know if it up the 4K. I hope so. We'll see. We'll see if they do. Because that takes some work. Because with Spider-Man, what I was going to say earlier is with Spider-Man, like I don't, I didn't think that the save transfer was going to f- fall over. However, the thing is, you can probably play the original Spider- PS4 Spider-Man with your old save data, mm-hmm. but Spider-Man Remastered is a different game. That's true. Oh, You get I what think, I'm saying? But I think they're people different buying, games. people buying Spider-Man Remastered know they're restarting. Right. It's a different game. It's yeah. not like, hey, there you go. Keep playing. Yeah. Well, the game's completely different now. Like, it's a different experience. There's a different face on Peter. You know. Did I, did I tell you that I pre-ordered Spider-Man today? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned it. Yeah. So do, do you go down to the store and? Oh yeah. I all told, the whole thing. That's a whole thing you I, do. I told you, man. We talked about it last episode where I was like, you got to go to the store. Make sure you go tell them you want that you game. You never just throw a pre-order my way under my name. Text you. Hey. Like, Yo, I'll get you one. Five bucks. I could, I could try to get you one next time. Yeah. Never crossed your mind. Oh my gosh, stop it. Salty. Go back to the salt and pepper again. Salt and pepper, baby. Salt and pepper. So, another question I wanted to ask. When do you think we'll get some color variants? On the controllers, console? How long? Uh, how far out do you think that is? I think is? on a game that we'll get that's not announced yet. Yeah. Not, not any. Maybe Horizon. Maybe Horizon will be like the first different version of the ps5 that we'll get because that's not coming out till the summer yeah or probably next fall like next because it's 2021 so it could be next holiday i can see that maybe yeah. like i'm thinking summer 2021 i was uh no, i was no, watching no, some summer. youtube videos about comparison videos and they compared horizon zero dawn to you know one and two side by side mm-hmm. gameplay like just of the new trailer they released and it is incredible you don't realize how hard that that game, and they were probably using a play, stock PlayStation. You know, you want to make the video. Oh, look at the difference! Probably stock PlayStation to PS Five, and it looked incredible. I'm ready. Yeah, for real. So, any cross gen games you're gonna bring over? Uh, Apex Borderlands. You're not gonna right. play Apex any? Like you're done with Apex? I'm not done with it, but I'm we'll just come like, back. I'm definitely gonna download it. I'm just burned out from shooters. Right I want to see what Fortnite looks like because it's next gen. I want to see what it looks like. It's free. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, true. Um, you know, top five game. So, I, you have to now. You you signed a contract. His, yeah, did you know that the new Smash Brothers character came out today? The Minecraft Steve. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, People are having fun with that guy. So. I'm gonna play Borderlands three because I heard it's gonna be really good on PS five. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think I want to bring over because I've been holding out on Star Wars, Star Wars Squadrons just because I don't have time yet. Yeah, when I get when I'm like, all right, it makes sense financially. I'll get it. Yeah, it's forty bucks though, so. Yeah, but you do 60 plus 60 yeah. plus 40. So it'll be there. Too bad PlayStation doesn't have Game Pass. You don't have to buy but any they, of these games. They'll have... Eh, it's not the same, but... Will they copycat it? No, PlayStation Plus connection's not going to be the same. I don't know. They just can't yeah. do that right now. So, Cool. Yeah. Well, that's it for today's episode. Yeah. Sounds good. Um... Uh, Thank you guys for listening. I uh, want to say thank you. I love you. And F you, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. I know you still <laughs> haven't watched the last couple episodes, you prick. On that note, game the side out. The beef is real. Game side out. Game side out.